Assalamualaikum and a very good day. I be to PM Sahada and Dr. Siti Hidayah. Today we want to present effective method between JITS algorithm and science postman problem to find the shortest route in solid waste. I am Ayu Sufem Tisman as a presenter one. My name is Nur Amiza Hwiti Muhammad Adnan as presenter number two. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Sabrina Binti Ahmad Dawood and as presenter three. Our supervisor is Dr. Rasida Binti Wan Abdul Aziz. Let's start with the first outline. Nowadays, solid waste management is getting harder as population increase. The volume of solid waste generated is directly proportional to the human activities. Improper road cleaning can cause a problem as many waste can be passed through by the garbage collector to cover each area. Therefore, the aim of this study is to find the most efficient method that provides shortest distance with minimum cost. This study employs two graphical approaches, which are just algorithm and Chinese postman problem. In order to Determine its efficiency, we use RMSE. By comparing the result, we can say that this algorithm is more efficient as compared to CPP. This study can be used as a guideline for the solid waste management to have a proper road planning. Introduction Municipal solid waste, MSW, is known as trash, comes from various sources such as housing areas and industries areas. Municipal solid waste management is getting more difficult as the population of the countries are rapidly increasing. The great amount of solid waste generated by the ASEAN countries is expected to increase by 2035 from 58 million tons per year in 1999 to 480 million tons per year in 2025, as stated by Chabuk in 2018. The available lands for land fee is decreasing and large amount of greenhouse gases are emerging through the incineration process which also cause a serious environmental problem. Problem statement. First, too many ways they can be passed through by the garbage collectors. Second, the sum of money spent for collection, transportation and disposal of solid waste increased by approximately 50 to 70% was spent on the collection phase or process. Third, there are several methods to determine the shorter path such as plot washer algorithm, cruise algorithm, Chinese postman problem and digit algorithm. Objective. First, to analyze the route of the waste collectors using an agency metric to represent connection the graph. Second, to locate the shortest route using digit straw algorithm and Chinese postman problem to minimize the cost. Third, to resolve the most efficient method between digit straw algorithm and Chinese postman problem for solving shortest path problem by using root mean square error. Next is significance and benefits. This study will be beneficial for the local government as a guideline to abate the cost of waste collection. Furthermore, it will help to reduce the environmental pollution caused by the fuel consumption. And lastly, it is good for the community to practice the clean environment. Scope. In this study, we use Ripertaling Kuala Lumpur as a study area. We obtained the data from Alam Tara's Rambarhat website. The parameters that we use in this study are length of path, sum of all edges, total number of odd pairings, number of odd nodes, and total minimum path length. Limitation. There are some limitations in this study, such as lack of data available. The road characteristic like the width, speed restriction, and traffic condition are excluded. Background theory. Graph theory is one of the branch of mathematics that deal with the connection of line and points in a plane. This theory was covered by Leonhard Euler in 18th century to solve the Konigsberg bridge problem. There are three features of a graph that enable it to cope with problem. First is to display the relationship between two parameters. Second is data flow diagram. Lastly is decision making ability. There are several types of graph. For example, is simple graph, multi graph, bipartite graph, and Eulerian graph. Digistra algorithm, an algorithm that named after its developer as Digistra in 1959, and he is a brilliant dash computer scientist. Digistra algorithm is used for multi point routing, surveying and mapping sites, and shortest paths of logistics and transportation. Digistra algorithm can be used in real situations such as finding shortest location on a map, routing of telecommunication message, and urban traffic planning.
Chinese postman problem CPP. The Chinese mathematician Mei Kuo Kuan investigated CPP in 1962. The idea of CPP came from the real world situation where the postman picked up the letter from the post office, sent it to the receiver, and written back to the post office. The use of CPP is to find the minimum cost of traveling each night in a graph at least one. There are five types of CPP such as unrighted and directed CPP, KCPP, min max KCPP, and capacitated CPP. CPP can be used in real situations for petrol vehicle to rest defend garbage truck routing and snow plowing car. This is a literature review for JIS algorithm. Past study indicate that JIS algorithm not only can solve solid waste management problem but also can be useful for cost allocation problem and scheduling problem. On the other hand, this is the literature review for CPP. CPP can be applied in various areas such as gaming. Logistic and inspection, especially to solve the shortest distance problem and cost allocation problem. Methodology. This figure shows the process of research, which consists of four phases. Phase 1. Review the article to have a better understanding on the method used in the graph theory and identify the application, difference, similarities, strengths, and weaknesses of the method from the past study. Phase 2. Data acquisition. For step 1, we obtain the data of garbage truck schedule which cover 29 locations in Sri Petaling from Alan Flora's website. This figure shows notes and names of the route that used in this study. Step 2. Data analysis. Analysis of data is done by using adjacency metric. Adjacency metric is a square metric n times n that used to represent the connection between the nodes in the graph. Phase 3 formulation of the model, digit extra algorithm. There are 5 steps to stop digit extra, which is step 1 is labeling the vertices. Second, record the temporary value of a vertex. Third, determine the smallest distance. Fourth, repeat step 2 and step 3. And last step is compute the shortest part. Chinese postman problem CPP. There are 4 steps to stop CPP. First step is identify the odd vertices. Second, list all possible odd pairings. Third, choose the complete pairing of the least length and last step is compute the shortest part. Phase 4. Validation and verification of the model. We use Python to verify the model and validate using RMSE. Design discussion. The analysis of the data which is the road traversed by the garbage collector is presented in the form of adjacency metric and distance metrics. This information is transformed into a graph as shown in figure above. This is the result of shortest distance with minimum cost determined by DA and its corresponding graph. And this is the shortest distance with minimum cost calculated by CPP. This graph represents the suggested path after implementing CPP. Discussion The table above shows the comparison of the result obtained by using two different methods. It shows that this algorithm gives the minimum distance and cost as compared to CPP. In order to verify our result, we use RMSE. The RMSE result is as shown in table above. In this study, we use three different functions to fit with the given data. It is including exponential function, polynomial of degree 2 function, and linear function. The previous result is parallel to RMSE result as the error of the A is always smaller than CPP. Linear function is said to be the best fit to the given data as it gives the smallest error. Conclusion For the first objective, the complete graph is formed from analysis of data using adjacency metric. Thus, the first objective is accomplished. For the second objective, the result shows the shortest distance by using the A is 84.41 km with the minimum cost of fuel consumption is 13869 cents. Meanwhile, the shortest distance by using CPP is 131.81 km, with the minimum cost of fuel consumption is 31,831 cents. Thus, the second objective is accomplished. For the last objective, from the calculation of RMSE, the linear function of DA gives the smallest error, which is 0.002441, compared to CPP, which is 0.002607. Therefore, DA is the most efficient method than CPP. Thus, the last objective is also accomplished.
Recommendation First, it is beneficial for the future research to deal with other factors to examine whether it affects the result or not because the study only considers two factors. Second, future studies should consider implementing other algorithms that use the concept of graph theory to solve the same problem as stated in this study. Third, digit struct algorithm and Chinese postman problem should be applied in the larger scale of collection points.